hey bella dolls welcome back to my channel so today i'm kind of excited because this is the first time that i'm going to try to do my own frontal um so i guess this really isn't kind of like a tutorial it's kind of like a watch and learn with me kind of deal um so yeah first and foremost what i want to do is from watching so many youtube videos i want to bleach my knots um i made sure that the paste was really thick so that it doesn't go through the lace and bleach the hair itself and i made sure to make sure i got the front the front is very important so this is it i put it mostly on all of the frontal itself around the whole thing and now i'm going to start the process of dun -dun -dun, plucking ah plucking is the most nervous thing ever because that's how that's what a make or break your frontal really so i already parted behind the um hairline behind like those little baby hairs that came with it um because on so many videos i've seen that it was best to start behind the hairline than in front of the hairline so that you won't thin it out so with this i'm just randomly plucking when i say randomly i'm like literally randomly just plucking also i did make sure that my frontal was wet um having it wet really helped the hairs to come out a little bit more easier than having them um dry so yeah as you see i'm just <laughs> going to town on this frontal i think i know what i'm doing <laughs> so like I said, I randomly pluck behind it. And then as I would pluck behind it, I would comb it so that I can get any of the loose hair so that I can make sure um, I see them. But I noticed that I really couldn't see because you see those spots on that wig head? I had some previous dye. So what I did was I grabbed a paper towel. Paper towel was like white. So with it being white, I could see a lot better. And I know you guys can tell the difference there. Like you can see the knots as well as I can. And as you can see on the side in the middle, if you can really zoom in and look, it's like already a ball spot right there. So I had to pluck this side out a little bit more just to try to even it out so that it doesn't look um, bald in that one particular area. So yeah, the paper towel really helps. So if you have a paper towel, a white towel, anything white underneath it um, really helped me as a first timer um, see a lot better. Made me a little bit more confident with plucking. Alrighty, and here I do want to say that I did pluck in the center, but I would highly suggest not doing that at all. Really, you only want to pluck your sides because plucking in the center kind of like thinned it out a little bit, especially when it came to me about to do my middle part. It kind of messed me up a little bit. So here I'm just putting it on, just making sure, um, seeing if I need to pluck any more areas. That side looks pretty natural. I'm going for like a natural look with this um you know just pulling it down and then after this point i checked it to see if i needed to go back in um in a few more areas but to put it on i actually went to my stylist um and she installed a band in it so um the band made it be glueless so yeah this is glueless and these next couple of steps you'll be seeing her um press and blow dry out my hair and just style it for me and then i will go home and put it on all the way so yeah just sit back and watch the rest of the video
that you guys enjoyed this video so in the beginning of the video you seen that i plucked and bleached the front of myself and then i had my stylist add the band into it as you see this is my first time doing the frontal and i'm actually kind of proud of myself because i think i did a pretty good job on my first time as you guys can see i did go back and pluck the frontal a little bit on both um on both sides um yeah so I'm gonna get there. I wanna do I wanna start doing these kind of tutorials because I know that I'm not the only one who wants to do their own hair at home. You know, like getting these frontals installed can be kind of pricey. I'm not even gonna lie to you. And then the ones that I really want to be installed is glueless ones, and it's hard to find somebody in Georgia um that can do it. So I said, you know what? Let me just practice and show my steps so that you guys can prevent your errors when you do it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to do another one. So uh, along the way, the more frontals I do, the more updates I'm going to do. And I'm going to try to do them on camera. But this is a body wave wig. It's a 24 inch. It is full and i previously colored this wig it's supposed to be like one of my birthday wigs but i previously colored it and this is the adore color i will have to leave it down below so yeah if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up let me know what other hairstyles hairstyles that you want me to try and i'll try to um try them myself like i said this is coming for somebody that's not a professional at all that watches a lot of youtube videos my stylist gives me tips and i try to just like tweak things because i know everybody probably isn't fortunate to get a frontal installed by people for 350 dollars so if i can try it you can try it too it just takes time but i see you guys in the next video and Give me some wig suggestions. Like, what wigs do you guys want to see from me next? <laughs> Bye.